December 31st, we're in Poland. This aircraft came through the trees. It is in bad shape. It did take a lot of damage, but they did survive. It was this aircraft here, an ultralight fox bat, Sierra Papa, Sierra Whiskey, Oscar Zulu was the tail number around 1 p.m. Um, near Oberniki uh, Airport. So firefighters had to look for this aircraft. Again, heavily wooded area. Um, they did make access. There was two souls on board. One had a uh, chest and head injuries and the other one had bruises and a broken finger. But they both were okay. Um, I think this type of forest is ideal for coming in if you're going to hit trees. Um, a lot of these are small, so the aircraft could basically plow through these and slow down. As long as they don't hit anything real big, um, it could lower a lot of the energy. You can see the wings took a lot of the damage, which as a pilot, I would think you would want. You would want the wings to take the damage, but the fuselage, as you can see, stayed intact. So the two people didn't hit anything too big they got wedged in between here but they broke this tree but again they themselves were okay so i mean obviously you're going to take injuries they did um but main thing they survived firefighters checked out the area there was some fuel spills to deal with they hit the forest about 500 meters before the airstrip um unknown reasons of why it went down here is the airstrip or that uh, Oberniki airport. Hope I said that right. And then here's that forest. So I it was close to a road as well. So firefighters can, you know, make access. It's not like over here somewhere where it would possibly be a lot harder to find the aircraft. But very good here um, in Poland. So moving on. Now we have this Piper Arrow 3, January 2nd. The woman uh, pilot was in critical condition. Um, she came through engine failure and she hit this embankment. So again, like hitting it a solid object, you can see it crushed the whole front of the aircraft. Um, looks like the same type of wooded kind of area. But again, she probably did not see um, what she was coming into. And um, there you can see the damage. And there was a pond here. There was a fuel spills into the pond. Um, but firefighters did make access and uh, take care of her. Here they're on scene uh, driving up and uh, getting to her and getting her to the hospital. So this is the Piper Arrow 3 November 125 Mike Tango. Uh, mechanical a uh, engine failure and tried to return to Beaufort Executive Airport. We're in uh, Wigan, South Carolina. So people were around. Um, they heard her crashing through the trees. And they called 911. Here's the cockpit. And they flew her out. So hopefully, you know, critical condition. But we really hope that uh, she can uh, survive this. Let's see what the square says here. kind of what happened and that was in again South Carolina so now let's move on to our third one this was January 5th a Piper Malibu Mirage this one again the cockpit is not survivable um, looking at it compared to the other two that we went over um, everyone on this one did not survive it was a Piper Malibu Mirage, November 6074 Alpha. We've been covering a lot of Pipers recently um, all over the world. Uh, this one's in Mexico. So here the flight was uh, turning to, to final when they didn't quite make it to the airport. And I'm no pilot, but it, just looking at it, it looks like the airspeed went down really quickly, um, kind of before and going into a turn. And I wanted to ask you pilots, like, at what speed are you coming in to final? And uh, at what point are you slowing down? Because it, it seems here, um, maybe, I don't know, possibly this had something to do with it. Um, firefighters did get on scene. This is an E1 Titan. Uh, we do have this vehicles here. Um, they're built around the 2000s and prior 1990s. Um, very reliable 
a fire truck. Um, so they were on scene. Doesn't look like there's any fire. A lot of dry brush. So if there was fire, you know, it could have ran on them for sure. Blocked off the area. And there was four on board here. Uh, Plan de Guadalupe Airport in Mexico. But again, real bad shape. And, and it's a kind of a flat area too. So kind of curious on how they came in. Um, if they hit anything or maybe just the angle they came in at would be interesting to know. Um, here, this aircraft actually had another kind of uh, incident here from July 25th of 2021. Um, Port Aransas, it overran the runway. It was kind of a wet runway. It collapsed the landing gears and uh, left landing gear actuator uh, protruding through the left wing. So I don't know if this had anything to do with it. Probably not, but it's just interesting within the, the you know, a few years, um, this same aircraft, this uh, Piper Malibu Mirage November 6074 Alpha did have um, some, some accidents dealing with it. But uh, yeah, please subscribe and like the video if you like um, us going over all of these incident actions from around around the world. Thanks for watching. This is our front. I'm Keone. I'll see you guys next time.